These blue creatures have dazzled generations of children. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be taking a look at the Smurfs. Smurf along with me! They were created in 1958 by Belgian cartoonist Pierre Culliford, who wrote under the pen name Peyo. Originally debuting in the Belgian magazine Spirou as Les Strumpf, they were side characters created for the medieval comic Johan and Pierre Louis story, The Flute with Six Holes. In that strip, the Smurfs first appeared as dozens of tiny, blue-skinned humanoid creatures in white clothing. Instantly popular, they garnered their own stories in 1959 and began receiving countless forms of merchandise, which included miniatures, games, and toys. They became so popular that they quickly adapted into several different comic book series and movies. In 1981, the iconic Hanna-Barbera Saturday morning cartoon series The Smurfs began its run. Airing from 1981 to 1989, the series originally aired 256 episodes and several TV specials before entering syndication. All for Smurf and Smurf for all! Featuring Papa Smurf as the leader of the community, their population grew and more of the creatures were given names based on their personality. These included such classic characters as Brainy, Absa Smurfly, Lazy, I need a break, and Jokey. I do the jokes around here! While the 80s series created the most popular depiction of the Smurfs, there have been several high-profile changes to their universe over the years. For example, when they first debuted, they lived in the Cursed Land, which was a series of dense marshes, dense forests, scorching deserts, and high mountain ranges. There, they used storks to travel the long distances before they were given mushroom-like houses in a rocky land and were eventually placed in a beautiful forest. Interestingly, their 80s lifestyle has caused several critics to label the blue creatures as communists. This is due to the Smurf economy running on cooperation and being devoid of money. In this structure, each Smurf contributes a solitary service and receives whatever they need, including housing and food. As for the villains, the series' iconic antagonists were introduced in the TV program as the evil wizard Gargamel and his cat Azrael. I hate Smurfs! I hate those Smurfs! Throughout the show's history, Gargamel's goal has been to destroy the Smurfs or to capture them to perfect a gold-creating potion. Who smurfed out the line? Who's standing on my foot? Uh, where's our surprise? In 2011, the Smurfs finally received a high-profile refresh when they were reimagined as the stars of a big-budget live-action family film. Depicted with CGI, the feature departed from the established canon and transported the creatures from the medieval ages to Central Park in present-day New York. 